<laughs> Hello everybody, it is February 14th and this is uh, 2.05 in the afternoon. I just got through having lunch, I had me a turkey sandwich. And I'd like to say thank you to everybody out there that has been helping me to continue doing what I'm doing. I feel a lot better right now because since I left out there, man, Everywhere I'm stopping and everything I'm doing, it's like new faces and new places. And I like it when I'm moving because I'm constantly meeting people. But uh, I'm going to be going back to Columbus still. Um, I had somebody call me from Columbus. Remember I told you a while back I shared with this one guy at the post office. And we sat there for an hour, hour and a half just sharing. And he called me today and he told me, he goes, you know, Mark. Um, you were sharing, I guess, at Walmart or something, and uh, my mother told me she described you to a T, that he goes, I knew it was you by what she was saying and everything that you showed her. Uh, he goes, you met my mother there. <laughs> and I'm going, really? He's going, yeah, she's probably right around your age. And I said, well, how old are you? And he said, he's 42. I said, well, how old is your mother? And he said she was 59. And I'm going, wow, I'm 57. You know, I didn't realize um, I was that old. <laughs> but I, I told him, I said, my gosh, you're 42. I said, you realize, for me, this really started back in 2001. Because that's when I woke up that morning and I killed that snake in my kitchen. And the very next morning, I killed another snake in the exact same spot, the same size, the same time. Right there, it, was, it felt like deja vu. And that's when the Twin Towers came tumbling down. And things started being revealed to me. And uh, I started seeing a lot. And I started seeing how people were even changing. Um, everything was standing out to me, and every year was worse than the year before. And, and it is as if everything that i seen and experienced stayed with me. And that's when I started separating myself more from the world. I was still, I just got my license then, my business license. So I was trying to make a go of it. But I noticed how difficult it was when people weren't doing what was right, uh, competing against it. And then every year it kept getting worse because uh, people didn't care. And you know how it says in the kingdom of heaven, no liars, no adulterers, no, no covetous, none of that stuff will enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay? People have no idea. When they're just bidding and lying to the people to get the job and not telling the truth. That's what, the reason why everything started falling apart here. Because when people no longer care to do what's right, then uh, this is what happens. That's why the Lord, you know, it sounds like he's strict on everything like that. No, remember he said some of us once were that way. Some of us were once that way, but we, we repented and we followed Christ, okay? And that's why Jesus said, those that do the will of my Father in heaven, um, that's why things are twisted and perverted today in the churches. The wheats and the tares growing together, okay? And then they twist the word, and then some of these people were accepting it. Some of them are going to still come out, but they're... Uh, they're Foolish, I guess. That's the only way I can say it. But I want to share something with you guys here. Since I'm sitting here. Um, I've been telling you guys how there's a lot of people on YouTube that are... Um, they're leading people back into the cares of this life. And of this world. And there's people that have YouTube channels like I have. But they've got more people. And then when you click on their channel, it starts right off with music. Like, you know, like there's some kind of a uh, Channel 4 News, you know, live network, you know. And uh, this isn't what this is about. You know, they're trying to get, let me put it this way. The devil is going to 
try to run the airways no matter where it is. Even if it's on YouTube and it's people like me and you out there trying to just get the message out, they're going to try to drown us with different stuff. I've had people where their videos, man, the music, the drama music, listening to the music, and I'm like, you know, why can't you just tell me what the message is but leave the music out? Thank you very much. The music was quite annoying to me. You know, I want to get to the message here. What's important, you know? That's where I'm concerned. And um, a lot of people are being led back into the world, into the cares of this life. And that's what I want to read to you from St. Mark. Um, chapter 4, verse 19 and 20. Okay? Well, actually, I'm going to start off at... Uh, The parable about the seeds and all that stuff, okay? But I'm going to start off at uh, 16. And these are they likewise which are sown onto stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately received it with gladness. And having no root in themselves, and so endured for a short time, for a time. Afterwards, when affliction or persecution ariseth, the word's sake, immediately, uh, immediately, they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word. Okay? Now, here we go on 19. And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things... Entering in, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. And they are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. Okay? This is what I'm trying to say is... Uh, the Lord warned us about having cares of this life, okay? The cares of this life is what's going to choke that out, you know, to where you're not going to, uh, you're not going to get what you should get out of this, okay? You're not going to get his total message. You're not going to truly understand what he's trying to say if you have cares in this life still. It's going to get choked out. That's the truth. It really will. Some of those people that I shared with, I'd go back a few days later and see them. They'd be right back into whatever's going on in this world. You know? The message, everything I see in here, the word, what he says about the parable, about the seeds being sown. You know? Yeah, I'm trying to get the seeds sown in there, but if they're if they're if if they got cares of this life, then, you know, it's not going to be fruitful. It's not going to multiply in them. You know, you have to let this go. You literally have to let it go. The cares of this life, the things that you treasured the most, you're going to have to let them go in order to uh, begin to really see what's going on here. You know, here we go with Jesus' true family again. This is chapter 3, 31 through 35 in St. Mark. There came then his brethren and his mother standing without, sent unto him, calling him. And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and brethren without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he looked around about on them which sat about him, and he said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for so whoever shall do the will of God, the same as my brother, my sisters, and mother. Okay? The warning about the cares of this life. You know? Check it out. Google it on there. And, and about the cares of this life. Where Jesus says, warns people about the cares of this life. It's going to drown the word out. Okay? And you're not going to see what's about to happen. What's at hand? You won't see it. You truly won't see it. You know? 
And uh, I seen that where I was going. People that I was meeting, uh, seeing them later. You know, how they fell away from this. I got two new tires on the rear. I needed them because in the inside, when you look at my tires from the back, it was like I had some tread on the outside, but it was there was going away in the inside center. And something kept telling me, you know, not only did it tell me, I seen another truck on the side of the road that was getting a tire repair fixed because he had a blowout. But I, I felt... I should replace them, and I did, because they were bad. And I should have replaced them a long time ago, but, you know, trying to make it. Now I've got all good four tires. I got the two in the front. I got those probably five, six months ago, and they're really good tires. Still a lot of tread. And the ones in the back are brand new. And uh, I think we're going to be out of here real soon. I really do. You know, in May, I'm going to be 57. This photo here, it's the same as the Jewish calendar. This isn't no coincidence. It isn't. Let me read you this first. I want to read you this. There's the angel above my head blowing that trumpet. Okay. Now, this is in uh, St. Mark, chapter 8. Verse 34, and when he had called the people unto him with his disciples, also he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever will save his life shall lose it. But whoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel's, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall it give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me, of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Then he said unto them, Verily I say unto you that there be some that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power. It's not far from happening, you guys. We're we're in that we're in that time. It's gonna happen here real soon. I shared this earlier. Now look, I'm gonna have in here in the uh, description box. You guys can see those faces. I know you can. It's a little harder to uh, see it sometimes for this light. The light on these cameras make it a lot difficulter. Just depending on the light. Like right now I've got the light shining on my lens so it's hard for me to see. Hopefully you guys could see it better than me. <laughs> I don't show this as much as I used to. You can see that girl. She, she's sticking her tongue out. That's the serpent tongue. Her eyes. Looks like the wind got underneath them. That's how fast these demonic spirits jump in them. They jump in them so fast, you know. It's crazy. You know, but these are the times, my friends, we're living in. And uh, this May, I'll be 57, and I believe this is getting ready to come to an end. The thing that really surprised me was when somebody sent me that. And it's May backwards. When I look at it in the camera, it looks straight and normal. But then when you guys have seen it, I'm sure it shows backwards. You know? And these were at the post office. That V stands for the five. And the guy right there, you notice all the red around him? We've had the red seas, the red waters, red rivers, all that red happening. 
A lot of signs are around us. A lot. We need to really be ready, you guys. This is the time to be ready. Be careful, because a lot of these people on YouTube, like I said, the tares and the wheat is growing together. And they're on YouTube. Trust me. You can tell by the things that they're doing. Okay? If they're not trying to get you to stay focused on Jesus Christ, on watching for Jesus Christ, Jesus said to watch. And Jesus is going to try to put signs in front of you for you to see. But you ain't going to have to go here. You ain't going to have to go there. You ain't going to have to be led into nothing, into the cares of this life. The Lord said for you to watch. You, it means you, me, and whoever out there to watch, but not let people lead you into the cares of this life, okay? If they're doing this, trust me. Do you know how many people, look it, I've been on here for a long time doing this. You know how many people out there, I guarantee you, they've seen this. They've seen that angel blowing that trumpet, but they stay far away from it. Real far away from it. Because they don't want it to get any attention. None at all. None. They stay far away from it. There's a reason for that, you know? They're not everybody is who you think that they are. The Lord's going to give you signs to see and you're going to see him. Trust me. Just do what he says in the word of God. Anybody that tries to get you into the cares of this life concerning what China's doing, Russia's doing, and North Korea and all that, whatever, don't watch it. You don't need to watch it because God's going to send these people again. You already know it because the written word of God says it's going to happen. We are in these times right now. So I would highly recommend that you take this time that you have rather than being concerned about the cares of this life or it, what's in this world. I would take this time to come up out of it and to be looking and following Jesus Christ with everything. With all my heart and soul, I would be focused on Jesus Christ. Because this is what this is about. It's all about Jesus Christ. That's what he, he's the one that came here and, and went to the cross for us. To die on the cross for us. All of us. Each and every one of us. And he said, those that believe in me will never perish or die. But you have to do the will of his Father in heaven. You know, because even the devil believes in him. Yeah, you know, that doesn't mean he's going to get into the kingdom, does it? No. You have to do the will of the Father. And you can't be living in an abomination or sin, because that's not the will of the Father. Remember, Jesus honors his Father. Okay? He doesn't disrespect him or mock him, or he's not going to uh, do anything to uh, dishonor his Father. No, And he says, it clearly says it, no adulterers, no sinners, no liars, no lustful whatever in the world is not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. It's not going to happen. This is your most precious time. It's like being with your little baby when they're first born, man. It's a precious time. Jesus didn't separate us to have these people leading you back into the cares of this life. That's not what you've been separated for. You were separated to do what he says in there. To keep your eyes on him begin growing in him in the spirit being ready to be born again in the spirit like that spirit you see above my head blowing that trumpet man that's we're going to be there in a little while this is where we need to be focusing getting ready to be born again okay that's our oil now see they're going to rob you of that oil if they get you back into the cares of this life you know worried about what China's doing Russia's doing and you know, worried about that asteroid coming down, getting ready to hit this earth, and where is it going to hit, and what day is it going to hit on? You know, who cares? I don't care. Bring it on. You know, it's like somebody saying, if you looked underneath the car, you probably got a bomb underneath there. So what? I don't care. I trust in my Lord. Okay? These people are slick. Okay, and they look just like you and me and your grandma and they're going to look like your Uncle Earl or Adam or Pearl or they're going to be growing among us. Okay, remember an enemy came in and sowed them. They're all mixed in, in with us, the weeds and the tares. They're all mixed together. How do you think the church has got perverted? 
Now you got lesbian and perverted homosexual preachers and um, it's perverted. Okay? Listen, I'm going to include a couple of clips in there, okay? Guys are going to be talking about way back when, what, what they've seen coming in our future and stuff like that to where we are today, okay? But it's not to be concerned about the cares of this life. It's about to let you know what a blessing it is that the Lord separated you and me to where we could actually spend this time focusing on our Lord while everybody else is focusing on the cares of this life. That's why the Lord separated us. This is our oil. This is where we get our oil. Okay, we're getting ourselves ready to go home to be with our Father God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, we're getting ready to go home. And Jesus Christ is God. He came in the flesh because he wanted to be that close to us. He wants to have that kind of a relationship with each one of us. Okay? And he said, pray without ceasing because the enemy is all around us. And like I said, they look like the most friendliest people that you've ever seen in your life. Very, And they're going to be smiling at you too, man. They're going to be tickling that ear like you ain't never had it tickled. Because they're going to say all the worst, loveliest things that you've ever heard in your life. You know what I mean? And then they're going to be t twisting it at the same time. You know? Don't be deceived. That's how it got to where it is today. Don't let anybody tickle your ear. Don't let anybody lead you back. Anybody that's coming on here trying to lead you back into the cares of this life, man. I showed you about that John Carpenter movie. That's not about the cares of this life. That's showing you where he was saying what was coming. How people were all blind in, in the cares of this life. Where they are all worried about making more money. Just like my football coach in 70, uh, from 1974. Here it is, 2014. He's offered me a job for 60 grand a year to work at Tampa Bay Stadium. Come on, now. You guys, you know this now. You see where I'm living. I chose to be here. You know, this is what I'm doing all the time, you know. I'm, I'm amazed when I see other people doing videos in the cars when I know they've got homes. You know, what? I mean, why, man, if I had a place to live, I'd probably be doing it right there in my room. You know, where, just shut the door. <laughs> but this is where I'm here because this is where I am, you know. This is where I am. You know, I got to find a place to park each night. You know, and it's generally at a Walmart. But this is what the Lord uh, chose me to do. You know, and I guess to let you guys know about the cares of this life. And don't be deceived, man. Like I said, some of them are going to have smile and have sweet sounding voices. And um, and another thing I don't like is all that music and drama sounding in some of these videos I've heard. It's like, what's up with that, man? These are the end days. Why can't you just give me the message, man? You know, why does it feel like you're leading me someplace before I, I get to that message? You know, my message, I've been saying it from the moment I turned this video on. You know, and I want to make sure you guys get it and that others ain't deceiving you. You know, this ain't a time to have our ears tickled. This is a time to draw, excuse me, this is a time to be drawn near to our Lord. You know, that's where your time's supposed to be. I got a little bit of your time today with these videos. And I also enjoy reading your comments, too. Because, like I said, you know, I get to share with other people here. But it doesn't always, um, you know, it just doesn't always take. Sometimes it does. Like, today I got a phone call from somebody that told me I even shared with his mother. <laughs> uh, you got to be doing a lot of talking, man. To, because Columbus ain't no little town, you know what I mean? <laughs> Made me feel good knowing, that, oh, that's good, you know? So I guess I am getting out there, you know? It just doesn't feel like it sometimes, but, you know, you just keep on, keep it on, you know? Keep doing what you're doing. And listen, I wouldn't be doing what I was doing if I didn't know it wasn't the truth, you know? I know it's the truth. And the Lord showed me things. There's things that I've seen, you know, I don't share everything because some of this stuff would be really, really hard for some people to believe, you know. And uh, you'd have to really know 
I mean, he he made it to where I'm I'm you know how they say the mustard seed. I'm way past that, and I ain't saying it boastfully. I'm just saying he came at me in such a way to put me to where I've seen things that um, probably very few people have seen. You know, very few. And I don't know why I was so blessed to have my eyes open like that. But uh, maybe because I didn't choose what was in the world. You know, when they did try to come at me with it and I didn't take it. That's probably the reason why I've seen some of the stuff I've seen. But let me get off of here and load this up. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray that you guys get something out of my message, man. And please don't let anybody... Uh, lead you. Remember what I said, man. If they got that drama stuff going on, man, and it's not no good loving music, let me see if I got a song on here for you. You'll like it. And then after this, I got to load it up. This, this kind of music I like. Ah!